Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we are here for our monthly Angel Scope for September 2020 for the sign of Gemini. So, I let's tune in and Gemini, you have beautiful unicorns with you this month that came in um, for your reading to start. And, um, <clears throat> wow, so these beautiful unicorns are bringing to you this beautiful energy, this healing energy, this pure vibration of love they're writing. And if you call on them each day, they will, they will shower you with this pure energy of love. And they, they're they showing me like, a, some, like a, a, a beautiful white dog that has a lot of fur. And I don't know what kind of dog because I don't know the names of, of animals like that. But um, you're, the unicorn and the, and the, the animal were um, kissing, meaning in my symbology that, that they're making a connection. So if you have a pet um, or if you happen to have an experience where a pet uh, starts to connect with you um, when you're a, about out and about that take that as a sign from um, that your unicorn is trying to connect with you especially if it's a white um, pet but re regardless if you all of a sudden have this experience of you know this animal really connecting with you it's a it's a message from your unicorns that they're connecting with your energy and they're pouring this pure vibration of love and it just might be a reminder for you to um, take a moment to connect in and call upon the unicorns to shower you with their that pure vibration of love so okay so there's probably something really important about um, needing to um, call on the angelic realm and in particular the unicorns to shower you with this pure vibration of love. So I'm going to take a look at the cards and see which archangel we're working with and what message is coming up for us this month in September. Okay, so we have the high priestess and it's the archangel Haniel. So this might indicate that the unicorns um, are helping you to really to boost your intuition, your um, insights, so that your divine, so that you have um, a stronger connection um, with your divine guidance. So if you're making some important changes or decisions in this month, that you remember to tune into that pure vibration of love. I almost feel felt like, and I feel like that. Um, that you know you might be dealing with some um negativity um you might yourself not that you would you're gonna i feel like it's something that you might create for yourself because um that i'm seeing the word chain as in um a pattern or of of, of beliefs or a way of thinking that you allow to kind of come up and to, to kind of drag you down into this space. Um, so, you know, really call in for that angelic reinforcement um, this month to keep your your third eye. So Archangel Haniel works with the third eye. And you can ask Archangel Haniel as well as the unicorns to pour and fuse your third eye with this pure, their pure vibration of light and love, and to align you with the um, frequency of abundance and the planet Jupiter, um, and that as, that ascended aspect of Jupiter, Jambe. So really, to re refresh, uplift your vision, okay? And it's, it seems like you need support in. Um, getting in touch with your inner vision, your abilities, um, your insights, and your, it's like getting your mojo back um, to kind of give you a boost of faith and confidence because that's something you normally have. All right, so let's take a look at the message from your guardian angel. And let's see. So we have the two of thoughts. 
okay, which is the sign of air or the swords, which is that indication that you are having a difficult time making a decision. You're at a crossroads. And what you need is um, this clarity, this this inner wisdom. So we have two cards with the number two. two. And so that really is talking about being uh, that uh, the need for balance, um, the need to be make clear decisions, to really come from your heart, um, to not get you know bogged down in negativity or to get bogged down in the externals when what you really need to do is go within and pay attention to how things resonate with you and trust that resonance, that that feedback of resonance. Okay, so it says your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask the angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. Okay, so if you're, you know, confused or if you're feeling like very anxious, I can pretty much say to you that you are too attached to the outcome. You need to kind of separate yourself. I'm just saying, so I'm seeing the word separate. So whatever that may mean to you, I'm going to let it be put it out there first because it may mean something specific to you. All right. And so if it means that to you, when you hear that word, then that's how you need That's what you that's your guidance and your advice. Um, But I I feel like you it's like a separate fact from fiction kind of thing, Um, you know, truth from illusion kind of thing, Um, you know, that you're not being honest with yourself and you're trying to manipulate. You're trying to get things to work out a certain way when it's clear, plain and simple how it needs to go even though you may not want to go that way because you have some other things that you don't want to let go of. But this is this decision is going to is about making progress right now. And any form of progress that you can start to bring into your life is what's really important, because once that momentum starts, then you're going to be on board You may not feel like you're on board with it at first, but once the thing gets rolling, you're going to be on board. So they're writing the word explore, okay? Um, And don't allow yourself to be captivated by some kind of dangling, um, shimmering idea, you know? Uh, um, You know, don't let, don't, Don't let your mind get, you know, fixated on this, you know, promise of gold or something like this or something really shiny and expensive. Trust the solution that frees you and liberates you. Okay, go with the decision that liberates your heart when all those cords and all those things are just are released and you feel like there's an open breeze blowing through your heart, you know, on both ends, from both sides, there's an open flow. That's the right decision. It's not about what you want. It's not about your mind and how you see it and what you expect. It's about what's best and what's right for you. All right. What what makes you comfortable in your soul? All right. So. I send you lots of love and thank you for joining us. And for those of you who may be new to the channel, I have a been offering a, um, a special offer angel reading um, since the pandemic and will continue for September. For You would go to my channel, theangelschool.com. I'm sorry, my website, theangelschool.com. And on the services page, you'll find that link below. And you would choose the $77 half hour reading. There's no special button. But once you process the payment on a business day within 24 hours, I will get back to you with a payment uh, confirmation email also indicating the special offer. Okay. Um, Also, I give daily card messages on my YouTube channel and the community board, as well as on my Facebook page, which you can find the link to my Facebook page 
um, below. And we also do weekly angel readings on my YouTube channel. So I know that whatever this decision is that you have, um, that you will make the right one, trust that you will make the right one, and trust that it's not about all the dangling, shiny things that, are, that tempt you, um, that are tempting you to go in both directions. Know that you're going to be successful no matter which, which one you choose, but more importantly, know that you're going to be free once you make a decision, okay? All right, so have a beautiful month, and God bless you.